Hello, my name's Andrew, and these are the Gobi Winterize, the best Vivo barefoot boots for cold weather casual. One of my favorite winter barefoot boots of all time is the Ahinza Jaya because it's incredibly light and flexible, but there's not as much insulation and the softer rubber can get punctured more easily on rough terrain. So I asked Vivo Barefoot for a pair of their Gobi winterized boots to test, and they've got the agility of a barefoot shoe, but with the warmth and coziness of a full blown winter boot. Because the Gobis have a wide foot shaped toe box that's roomier than any Vivo Barefoots I've tried, and a water resistant leather upper that's stitched to the sole for durability and double layered for extra protection. Above that, the flat laces blend into the leather for a modern minimalist vibe, and the two tongue slits hold the laces in place, while the top hooks allow for a quick release, and the pull tab makes the boot easy to slip on. Inside, the Gobi Winterized is lined with a warm, full wool shearling that's puffed up for breathability, along with a removable heat reflective insole. Underneath, you've got a thin 3.7 millimeter sole that's highly flexible in all directions, plus a hexagonal tread for traction on roads and light trails, which can easily be replaced through Revivo after it wears out. At 429 grams, the Vivo Barefoot Gobi Winterized weighs about 160 grams more than the Ahenza Jaya, but it's still only half the weight of a traditional snow boot. So going out for a walk, the ground feel was fantastic and the minimal 3.7 millimeter sole made the pavement feel soft, like padding along in a cozy slipper. For colder days, Vivo Barefoot's thermal insole worked really well, but I also like using a wool felt insole because they're super warm and flexible. And by stacking a couple layers of Njinji Merino wool toe socks, I was able to wear the the gobies down near 15 degrees as long as I kept moving. Obviously the tread isn't designed for going up and down icy hills, but it was great for walking through snow and light gravel. Although literally nothing short of spikes is going to save you from slipping on black ice, so it's important to stay mindful. Stylistically, the Gobi Winterize is one of my all-time favorite barefoot shoe designs because it's simple and classic while having a few modern touches like the flat laces and wavy sole stitch lines. Because the leather is glossy, it was quite good at shedding parking lot slush, but it's not fully waterproof, so you want to give it time to dry in between uses and make sure to treat it regularly with wax or sprays, which you can find at Vivo's website. Also, while the Gobies were great for walking and even a bit of running, they tended to get cold if I was sitting or standing for a long time, so I had to stack a couple wool insoles and some thick smart wools over my Njinjis. Overall, the Vivo Barefoot Gobi Winterize is a great lightweight barefoot boot that's warm and agile enough to get you through the colder months in style. Because the upper is wide and flexible, the water-resistant leather and faux shearling are super cozy, and the lightweight sole provides a solid balance of ground feel and durability. However, the Gobies may not be roomy enough for extra wide feet, the upper can eventually soak through if it stays wet too long, and the minimal tread isn't robust enough for slippery hills or standing around in near zero temperatures. In terms of similar winter barefoot boots, the Ahinza Jaya has a softer 4mm sole, medium wide toe box, vegan leather upper, higher cut, and minimal tread. The Real Foot Farmer Winter has a tough 4mm sole, extra wide toe box, sanded leather upper, and minimal tread. And the Magical Alaskan also has a tough 4mm sole, wide toe box, soft leather upper, side zip, and minimal tread. If you'd like to support the channel, you can shop with the referral links down below, browse products at barefootwear.org, or watch my zero drop transition video to learn more about barefooting. Finally, if you have a question about the Vivo Barefoot Gobi Winterized or about barefoot shoes in general, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace!